Right, I'm just starting my stream in respect of the Arena Kings. This is Chess.com Arena Kings, Season 5, Week 8, and it's Friday. And we have about three and a half minutes to go to the start. So I just need to do some admin first, just to post my link. So I just need to get that link. Just to confirm that I'm streaming the event. Now where are we at? We've got 108 players so far. I'll just say hello to Ivan, he says hello. Uh, I forget what my rating is right now. 20, what is it? 2036. So I'll be playing somebody whoever's next to me in the list in the first game. And then it's just a case of however the game's come up. Oh, there I am. I'm down in what? 44th out of 116. So just into the top half. So I should be playing somebody either side of me, depending on whoever's in at the actual start when the time comes. Twenty-three players now. That should go up comfortably as the event goes on. Our top. Well, that's another GM jumped in. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six GMs so far. That's good. The more the better. A number of other title players. A lot of very strong amateur players. Just coming up to the one minute warning. Right, that's the sound for the one minute warning. Just about a start, 146 players, but hopefully that will at least double as the event goes on. Alright, good luck everybody. I think I'll play a Karakhan to start with. Bishop up. Hmm. Let's just develop in castle. It doesn't take. Rook across. Maybe H6 can be played. Okay, is it necessary? Not sure it is. I'll offer a trade of the set of knights. Okay, so it gives me a chance to take a pawn. I think I'll do that. So now I'll play a pawn up so I can drop the bishop back if I need to. Okay, he comes forward, so I've got knight out wide, but then I'm giving him this square. If bishop up, he can play knight in anywhere. 
think I like the look of that though. Right, jumps back. I think I'll take that one. So, knight down so we hit the pawn with the rook. Right, queen up, so we're again hitting the pawn, and we're hitting this pawn. So, hmm, which one do I want? I think I'll take this pawn. If he takes a bishop, obviously, knight covers it. Right, let's offer a trade of queens again. He comes in. Knight over. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Don't like the look of that. I'm going to go back up. Oh, just now it's a clock. Far too slow, far too slow. Right, I'm pretty certain to lose this on time, I would think, now. Yeah. Well, you never know, I suppose. Okay, I don't really love this move, but I'm going to risk it. Let's go forward. I've just been way, way, way too slow, haven't I? Way too slow. Okay, pawn up. Wow, can you just take there? Probably. See, I think I've got rock up. Oh, but have I got the check there? Mm. Let's take, take, and try and tie his rook down. Well, that's a repetition draw. So a decent start. Well played, good game. Okay, comes forward. I think I'll take and get the rook across, maybe. Just gotta be wary about moves like this to hit the pawn, leaving it loose. So I can go forward, I can hit the bishop. Oh, I can't go there. I think I'll drop the knight back so I can line up e3 potentially.
Okay, he takes a chance to come forward. So if I take, he's got knight takes hitting the queen and bishop hits the bishop, so we don't do that. So I think I'll play across and hit the bishop. So if he takes a pawn, I might sack a pawn and take the bishop, potentially. I'll pre-move in case he... Actually, no, I won't pre-move. Don't need to pre-move. Have we maybe got knight out wide to hit the queen, or is it just putting the knight out of play? Probably. I like the idea of taking that bishop, though. So again, if I take, I'm still getting the problem he takes here, but I suppose I could take back with a bishop. Yeah, I think that's playable. If he takes with the knight, I'll take with the bishop. My queen protects this bishop. So if he plays bishop takes bishop, I might have bishop takes pawn. So he doesn't. So I'll take his. Okay, so I've got queen check to get forward, but I'm not sure it really does much. I don't want to play pawn up and give him this square for his knight, so... I think I'll just develop the knight. Pawn up there allows his knight to pop here at some point, which wouldn't be good. What's happened is he just disconnected. It says he's reconnected. Has he got internet issues? Okay, queen up just to simply pressure the pawn. I'm guessing he's going to play knight across. And I've maybe got rook across, put it on the half open file. Right, plays pawn forward, okay, so he supports his pawn. So I'll bring the rook across then. Okay, he offers a draw, I'll take that. He's obviously got internet issues and he's played, okay, he hasn't blundered, so that's fair enough. I mean, I was up on the clock, but he was having internet problems, I think, there, so I'm happy with that. I'll play another Karakhan. Get the F3 line. Got to try and remember the theory on some of these. I think I play e5, and then if he takes queen check, I'm also threatening queen check this way, so I think I can take there. Okay, could get dangerous this. So I've got c5, and I think he can play bishop takes there. So I think bishop up. If knight takes, I think I can go forward, so he doesn't. The question is, can I waste a move protecting, or do I have to develop? No, I think I will with the bishop, then I threaten a discovered check. Right, I think I'm going to bring this knight up and try and look to castle queen side. This open file is very dangerous. Yes, and he offers to open that file up, which is probably not good for me. I don't think I've really got much choice, though. Knight forward, so at least I've got the option to castle. Obviously, if he advances, I've got to move the knight maybe in over. So he comes over, so I could give him the pawn. He's hitting two pawns. So I could just castle, let him take with a check, at least I'm safe. I think I'll do that. So he might grab that pawn. He does. It does indeed. This one's loose, but feels a bit safer. Not sure it's saying it is, but it just feels it. So let's go forward, threaten a check. Okay, he comes forward and hits the queen. So have I got any tactics? I don't think so. Knight check, he can just rook takes. Rook takes knight, I don't think does anything. So I think... Hmm, bishop back, but then... 
doesn't look good. I think it's kind of forced though, I'll drop the bishop back. So he might win another pawn here. If he takes a pawn, I'll play rook across. Oh, so he kicks the knight first, okay. I think I'll go in and hit the rook. There is an escape square here. If he goes across, then we have a fork. If he goes here, but if his rook wanders off somewhere, I've maybe even got ideas of rook takes, but without dropping this, of course. So he comes forward. So if I hit the queen, he takes pawns protected. Have I got knight up now? No, I haven't. I dropped my queen. I'm going to play rook across to support the knight so I can try and move my queen somewhere. Again, I'm getting behind on the clock, so he comes over. So now I've got maybe rook takes and try and open his king up. I think queen over is risky, rook across. I know this is risky, but I'm going to play it. He'll play rook across. Then queen in, threatening to take. He might not play rook over, there isn't actually a forced checkmate, he does play it anyway. So in, threatening to take. But I need this rook across. But I can't move this knight otherwise I hang checkmate myself. He just plays rook over. So I think pawn up just to stop the mate threat so I can try and move the knight. Maybe knight forward and rook across. Okay. Knight forward. Queen hits the knight. So now support the queen. So can I maybe do queen across, hit the pawn, hit the rook? Well, he's pushed me there anyway. If rook defends knight in, so knight. Oops. So hit the two rooks. Might as well tread, he's almost out of time. Wow, got there, managed to flag him. Excellent. I didn't play the best moves at the end there, but I was aware of the clock. Right, we have a London dis London system. Mm. Let's go a slightly cautious way. Okay, just castle. I think try and get c5 in. Well, hit the bishop. Okay, so we can take. I think I'm going to do that and drop the knight back. Then potentially drop the knight round. Right, so it covers this square for now. Okay, have I got f5? Takes, queen takes, I think I can play up. 
If takes on percent, I can take with a queen. And then maybe queen back, just offer a trade of queens. Alright, he drops back, so I've maybe got pawn forward. I think it's playable, I might be missing something of course. If I just take and take. So then maybe get the bishop developed, connect the rooks. Okay, goes into an attacking square, so I can drop either knight in. I think I'll just develop the bishop first, hope I'm not blundering. So now I'll develop the knight and hit his bishop. Goes back, so again I can play pawn forward. Hmm, a little bit risky this. He might take the knight, he might not. Oh, we can grab the pawn. Okay. I've got a take there then. Comes across, so... Clearly I've got a very poor position in this game. Okay, drop the bishop back. Maybe takes or take. I think rock up. Right, so I've got oh I haven't got a check. I can take the knight. I think I'll just take the rook and the king across. Oh, I've blundered it. Wow. My first blunder of the night. Not to worry. Well done. Well played. Might play another Karakan. Right, we have the two knights, so... Well, let's play a knight up. Okay, well, how did this go? I think you play a queen a5 here. I think it's bishop up. And the other bishop this way. Pin the knight. Okay, comes forward. Can take and double his pawns. Not sure I love the idea of that. I think I'll just castle. Right, now I will take. Just develop. The bishop can drop back. Or I can trade unless he plays g4. Maybe hits the pawn. I've got pawn four, but then my queen gets a little bit out of the picture. If I go forward two, he's got this pawn forward. So I think for now I'll just play rook across. But I'm tempted to give up the bishop for the knight, and uh, I won't now. I think I'll look to trade off. Do I take with the pawn and open the file or? He gets knight and he hits this pawn, it looks too dangerous. Okay, so if he gets a queen there, there's a mate threat. That is obviously a big problem, so... I think rook across and rook up and knight down are okay. Knight down to cover this square. Okay, knight down covers this square, because that's what he's looking at. Rook up covers this square. Okay, now I am going to push the pawn forward. Alright, queen back. Told us I'm a bit bogged down this 
game now, so it's going to be hard to break out of this, very hard. It goes across. I think queen across and then maybe push the pawn. I could even play knight over to challenge his knight, actually that makes sense. Try and kick his knight out. Try and kick out that knight. Right, he drops back, so now there's a bit less threat. I think rook across. And now I can get the other rook across. Okay. I think I can take that. And still rook across. So if knight comes down, I take the knight. So there is a repetition threat there. Because I've got check king up, grab a pawn, check. There's going to be a repetition if he wants it. I don't mind that actually, I don't think. I'll just take the pawn. If he wants a repetition, he can have it. If he wants to be ambitious, he can go for it. There's a draw, well played. Let's just develop. Okay, I think I'll go forward. And light up, take. Yeah, he might be looking to push forward there. As we want rook across. Maybe e4 at the right moment, but pin the knight first. Okay, I think pawn forward. If he advances, I can take and he gets an isolated pawn. Okay. So I've got knight over, hit the queen, defend the pawn, but then this pawn comes loose. Hmm. I think I'm kind of forced into that. I don't like this, but I think I'm forced into it. Okay, so he offers a queen trade, I think we'll go into an end game then. Put the bishop on the diagonal. But everything's kind of out of play here. So he grabs the pawn. Okay, so I can mess his pawn structure up a bit. So I've got knight down to hit the rook and bishop hits the knight, or I can play knight up and if he takes his pawns are messed up, but I think it looks cleaner going this way. Hit the two pieces at the same time. So I can hit the rook. Maybe just drop back. Bring the knight back. Oh, I'm getting down on the clock, but I'm threatening to go forward at least. Knight up, hit the rook, hit the pawn. No, he has got an annoying move to hit the knight. It's whether I can do anything interesting. I mean, I could play knight forward and offer to trade a set of knights. But I'm two pawns down for the piece now, so it's tight, very tight. Rook across, so I've got to play rook across to support the knight. I know he's got the second pawn, he could be doing well. I think I've really got a trade there. And that might get me the second pawn back, I hope. If it's a pawn for a piece, I should be okay, but you never know. If I just take and hit the rook. So if I take, he gets the rook. Don't like the look of that. Hmm. 
Let's block that pawn. He's got to take with a rook if he takes. So I look to trade the bishop. But I could be in trouble here. I could be losing this now. With the second pawn, I should be losing this. But you never know. Ah, he's giving the pawn away. Right, so now I've got to try and collect these and use my king to stop the other pawn. No, it's not easy to see how I get across there. But I can definitely use a king to stop this pawn. So I've got to use my knight to try and collect his pawns before he gets his king over here. Oh, he's just given that one away. So now the other one falls. So that's got to be game over. He's just misplayed it. He's unlucky there. He played very well. He's a bit unlucky there. He played very, very well up to them last few moves. Right, let's go e3, c4 this time. Okay, now I could take there. Let me just grab a pawn, maybe. I'll trade the knight and castle. Hmm. Actually, why not? If he plays bishop down, I'll just drop back. d4 threatens to go forward. Okay, so I think rook across and look to push. Right, now drop back. Right, look to trade the bishop, so maybe drop the knight back to a defensive square. Rook across. I could get the knight back to cover this square. So... Where do we put the queen? Do we be ambitious and go two pieces for the queen? I don't think that works. I'm going to cover this square, otherwise he gets the rook. Okay, so I've, oh, oh, he hasn't blundered. What am I doing? What am I doing? He covered it. Wow, that was just me going far too quickly there. Silly mistake. Just give him that. Well played. Right, we have a feed in master here. This will be a tougher game. Okay, I think I can take there. So hit the knight and threaten to take, because this pawn would then be loose. As it comes forward, so I've got pawn up, have I? Don't think it quite works. Play pawn up and threaten to play b4. Again, it's maybe not really playable right now with the rook in the corner, but we can move rook across. Well, now that's a potential target. Oh, well, no, that's a tempting target. Hmm. Probably doesn't quite work. Or not yet. Comes forward. Okay, so I'll drop back again. I want rook across so I can threaten to play b4. Okay, so he, he looks to head that off, but I think rook across anyway, so it's off this diagonal. So he does play forward. So we've got knight forward now looking to jump in. That looks playable. Look to go in and hit the bishop. Okay. I think I'll go in and hit the bishop anyway. So again, a bishop, and he just takes this knight. That's not so good. So I think the knight has to drop back. So I'm just going to be a bit careful. I'm just getting that little bit bogged down. 
Ooh, bishop four. That sounds vicious. That's a bold move. I think I'll just take his bishop then. Right, hit the bishop and hit the knight. He might not have seen that his knight was hanging there. So I'll hit the pawn. I'll hit the queen, get on the right diagonal. Oof, can you get away with that? So I can trade, he's got a take with a knight. There's a knight, check is covered, so I think I can hit the knight. Queen covers the square. Knight in. So knight across is a threat. So rook over, knight over, and knight forward. Okay, knight comes in. I think I can just play rook across. Oh, actually, have I got queen down? No, it doesn't work. Pawn down, and that's too bold. That's too bold. If I take, knight takes, take, take, take. Maybe queen check. I could give up an exchange. Hmm. Take, knight takes. Take. Rook takes, rook takes, check, king up. Probably alright. I think this is okay, but I'm not certain. I'm down on the clock. I right, move the king, okay. I think I can play a knight up now, so now we're hitting the knight. If he takes, we can take back. There's no longer a threat to the back rook. And now I'm threatening a knight check. Okay, so I've still got a knight check here. In fact, rook check you can't take because of knight check. Well, maybe you can. You can get um, two rooks. Right, so now threaten a back rank. I could have played a back rank check there anyway, I suppose. So still pen. Actually, my better off take with a queen. Just check. Pin the queen. A check here doesn't matter. That should be game over. That's an excellent win. Excellent win. Right, let's play another Karakhan. Mixed results tonight. Okay, we're going to play an endgame, are we? Oh, it doesn't. It's gone for a gambit. Now, this might be an online that I'm not sure about. This might be an on gambit, and I'm not sure about it. Just throw in a check. Take the knight. So if I castle, I've got a horrible feeling it's the known gambit line, and I'm not certain of it. Queen up allows knight over. I think I'll just play queen up so I can castle queen side. Right, knight across. Hit the knight. It's a bit dodgy this move because the bishop's running out of squares. Right, it allows me to trade. So now the bishop's got a retreat square. Hmm. I'm going to put the bishop straight there just so I don't forget it and drop the bishop. Whoa! I've got a feeling my opponent plays this quite a lot. The way he's Sacking pawns. I've got a feeling this is something he does regularly. Might be a known attacking line that he likes to play. And I'm not familiar with this, so... I could trade off in the middle here. That looks okay. Let's take. And take again. 
rook across, threatening back rank issues depending on where the queen goes. So if I take, he can take with a check the king sidesteps. There's no dark squared bishop, so there's no threat to pin queen, to queen and king. Hmm. Maybe you should have grabbed a pawn there. I'll put the pawn forward. Okay, now I'm hitting the pawn and threatening to get the queens off. And two pawns up, that's certainly something I should look to do. Oh, he's thrown another pawn forward. So I've got check, and if he doesn't trade, I can drop, grab this pawn. But I think it makes sense to trade first. He might take with a queen, might do. Okay, I'm going to get the queen off the board. I think just go back, hit the pawn. Have to drop back. Then have I maybe got bishop check? Right, so bishop check is playable. I think I'm just going to bring the king up. Look to trade off. Oh, so that's another pawn. So it gets rid of a risk. If he takes this pawn, his bishop hangs, so... Throw in a check and drop back. This is really bad for white now, it's gotta be. I think. King in, I can afford to give up this pawn, really, can't I? How do I wangle this? I think pawn up and if I cross king up. This has gotta be winning, I've just gotta get the technique to actually finish it. So king up, I'm on a dark square, there's no bishop check. He can't go back this way at all. In fact, he's only got one square. So bishop in, just push the pawn, why not? It's got to be over, it's got to be. Okay. Just win the piece. I don't want to run out of time. That's the only thing. I might get flagged, of course. I might get flagged. That's my one risk. If I can get his rook off the board, yeah, he just abandons it. Very good, very good game. I did well with that game, I thought. It's 2180 odd he was rated, which is above my best ever rating, so it's always good to beat a higher rated player. something slightly different in a Karakhan. Okay, let's take and develop. I think e5 looks like a good move. Don't know if it is a good move or not. I mean, he gets bishop down chances. Goes forward, so... Pawn forward, he's got knight takes. I think I'll just take. Right, I think queen up. Knights cover each other. Players over. So I've got pawn up maybe. And if the knight bishop drops back, I've got knight in. Get rid of the other bishop. So hit the two. Try and get rid of the light squared bishop. Maybe got pawn forward, but no, I think that's just too ambitious. Now this pawn is hanging this time if I play up two. I 
I think queen back and then look to get forward. Okay, so I could play h5 there. Might give me a weakness later in the game. Could be a problem. But knight up, hits the bishop. Yeah, I'd rather have the knight on the other side of the board, but again, look to get rid of his one of his attacking pieces. Comes forward, so there's a pawn, hit the two rooks. Okay, so I think I might as well take. So I think, oh, what have I done? I've just dropped a piece back. Wow, bishop there. Clean blunder, he missed it. Right, just play forward, defend the pawn. Oh, there's his bishop trapped there. It's risky because I'm limping his queen in. Risky, risky, risky. I'm going to play doubling up. If his knight moves, I might try and pin the queen. I've won an exchange, so I could do with the queen off. But again, 30 seconds down on the clock. But his bishop is actually trapped, but I'm worried about, you know, just sacking coming in. And it might blow me wide open. So I want to try and get his queen off there. Get the queen off. Now it's a lot less risky. I can then try and hopefully speed up. Right, so get the rooks on the open files. Look to try and get his rook off. He cuts that out. Oh, he's nearly trapped his bishop again. He has, hasn't he? Yeah, he's trapped his bishop again with the knight. Can we stop the knight escaping? Rook up. There's no back rank rook check. Okay. Throw in a check. Yeah, I'm still down on the clock. He is playing at a good pace. He, he might take, he doesn't. He's playing quicker than me, so it's always a risk, of course. I need his rook off the board, but I'm a clean rook up, but is it enough to win? It should be. Oh, he's let me get the bishop bow. Oh, I've just walked into it. What have I done? Wow, he's missed that as well. Two clanging blunders I've dropped and he's missed them. Right, now I get the rook off. Wow, I dropped two absolute almighty clangers this game and he's just missed them. I've been so lucky. Wow. That is so lucky there to win that one. Okay. Oh, that's a pawn. Whoa. What is this? Ah, this is one of them funny ones where he tries to sack and win the queen, isn't it? Knight up protects the queen, so that's not happening. Yeah, let's go slow and steady. I'm not going to play for until I have to. Oh, well, that's good if I get that off the board. I think bishop up is going to be forced. Ah, oh, he's got queen takes. What have I done? Ah, no, queen covers knight. Ooh, very good move, very good. The idea is he's got queen takes threatening mate and the piece. So I can see what he's doing. I don't think I can do anything about it, though. I don't think I can do anything about it.
Well, he did that very well, didn't he? Very, very well. So again, Bishop up, he's got Knight down, maybe. I'm looking at Pawn for, but if I trade Bishops up, I'm just losing pieces. Okay, kind of have to. So I might as well try and just sack something to open this up now. So this is an opening I need to look at on another day. So I'm going to sack a pawn to try and get my rooks active against this king if he takes. Sack both pawns. So let's hope he takes the other one as well. Oh, I can't, the queen's there. What happened there? Did he disconnect and reconnect or something? Hmm. Pawn forward. If he comes forward, this pawn is loose. If he takes, I get rook across. He does. So this gives me some chance, but... Okay, just queen across, threaten the pawn. Okay, so I'll threaten this pawn again. There's no back rank against me. Pawn forward, so try and get in around the back. In fact, I potentially got rook forward there to cut the queen first and then Sack to open it up for the king. Right, that's a good move with the knight, very good. So I've got pawn up to hit the knight. I think I need to play that. If I can get rook forward, kick the queen somewhere, get in a check and then rook takes. That's the idea. I don't know if it works or not. Yeah, he's covered that square, so I'll pawn forward and he gets his knight back. Check, king over, rook takes, pawn takes, it doesn't quite work. Right, so I kick the queen. It's a real long shot, this, it's a real long shot. Hmm. Hit the queen. I don't think this works. I'm trying to sack the rook here and get repetition. Trouble is, I don't think I can. There's no back rank against me though, so... Okay, so he's giving it up the queen for rook. Or I can just take the knight. Gain a queen, he takes. Take, I'll just straighten out. Oh, he's disconnected and reconnected again. I've got to go for the queen, don't I? Yeah, he's disconnected and reconnecting. I hope that's not suspicious. I hope he's genuine. Let's grab a pawn. Oops, can't do that. There's a knight check. Rook across is now playable. So we threaten the knight. If the knight moves, we hit the rook. Pawn down to support, we take the rook. Should be okay on time, I hope now.
Excellent, got there in the end. Excellent win. Hmm. Next game. What have we got? 68 minutes left. Okay. Mm. Let's go with a slightly more modern way, even though it's an actually it's actually an old-fashioned move, E3. Became popular when MVL played it, of course, in was it the Isle of Man last year? I forget now. is a bit risky here because potentially he gets bishop in but bishop on the diag hmm. I think I'll just play a holding move and then maybe another one back hmm. actually let's go d4 I think d4 is a bit more traditional okay so potentially I can go forward and I'll play knight here so that the knight can drop back again if he takes I'll take the pawn he doesn't but I'm getting close to a point where I'm gonna push forward actually let's do this rook first Let's trade off this bishop first, maybe swing the knight across. Bring the other knight back. See so pre move in case he takes. Mm. No, I don't want him taking that knight. Right, so knight back. But now I'm getting tempted to go forward, and I think now's the time I will. To trade this night. Okay, comes forward. I think I'll push it as well. Could be getting dangerous here though. Oh, he's giving me my knight forward as well now. So maybe we've got knight over, hit the bishop and rook. So protect my bishop. And I've got the same sort of idea the other end. Okay, hit the rook and the pawn and the bishop. Now ideally I'll actually take the pawn there. But he's still got an open file, hasn't he? He still gets an open file. This is dangerous for me. This is dangerous. Hmm. Do I take the bishop? I think I've got to grab the pawn. I'm hitting another pawn. F3 is going to have to be played at some point. Maybe rook back to f1. See, I've got knight to. Oh, I can hit the queen and the rook. If he takes the pawn, I think I can just take the queen, lose the queen. So grab the rook. So now, mm, is it dubious? I'm going to kick the knight. It might be dubious this. I hope he takes the bishop. He doesn't. Now queen across is no good. So rook across so I can drop the bishop back. Now queen up is no good. Hmm. I think I've got to go forward again. Wow. Didn't intend this. So hit the knight, he'll go back. So his knight's going to be fixed there now. So I think I'll try and expand this side. As long as I'm not getting mated. Wow, he's playing well, isn't he? Let's go forward. Right, let's take, I need open files. He's playing a terrific game for his rating level, he really is. Ooh, so 
potential discovery there. Rook check, he comes up, rook down. Obviously, we're covering this as well. Knight across, has he got knight across? Bishop, no, nah, bishop covers that. So pin is bishop. Right, now we're getting potentially the other rook in. I've got queen check as well. Oops, I think that's a free piece. I think he's just missed the bishop was covering. There's no danger at the back. So now it makes sense just to trade off. Get the pass pawn. I should be cleanly winning now. Oh, pin the rook, that's definitely game over. But what a terrific game he's played for the vast bulk of that. He's played a terrific game there, right up to the last few moves. Still, a win's a win, we'll take it. Oh, now an international master 2500, so this will be way beyond anybody's ability that I've played so far. Mm, okay. Does drop back now. Do I play an early forward? I don't think I can. All right, so I need rook across. I might just give this pawn up, but this is a potentially powerful move. Of course, now he's threatening to trap my bishop there, so I think I'll drop back. And ideally, we could do with routing the knight like this. So I'm going to put the knight on a better square. Bishop guards this pawn. This pawn can guard that pawn. The push forward is guarded for now. Right, just plays it anywhere. Okay, I think I'll take there. So I've got a bishop check. I could take it all like the look of that now. I'll throw in a check and then put the bishop back. No danger of it being trapped now. Okay, so take. Now, queen up, he's got rook across. Take the knight. Hmm. If he plays rook across, I think I'm safe to take the pawn, but I might be calamitously wrong, of course. Okay, so have I got pawn forward? Maybe not. Knight over. Hits the bishop, I don't care about that. Okay, knight up. <coughs> right, he takes. So I'll take the bishop. And I'll just trade off a few. Now I'm certainly in a losing position because of this pawn. So obviously I've got to challenge this structure. And it comes forward, so... This is hopefully a little bit easier to defend. Now I'm not saying it is, but just that little bit. No, it certainly isn't. Hmm. I'm going to try and bring the king forward. So if he comes forward now and I take, if he takes, I take, he takes, I come in. He's still got two connected pawns, hasn't he? So this has just got to be losing, it must be. He's played this well, hasn't he? He's, he ooh. I don't know how to play that one. Okay. I'm going to try and expand now. Okay. Yeah, trouble is my king's kind of stuck now, isn't it? I can't really move. I should play forward here.
Ooh, can I not stop that? If a turkey comes down, no, I can't stop that. That's very good technique, well played. I think I'll take with a pawn rather than the queen. Looks a bit unusual, but... Now how do I want to play this? I think I'm going to tempt him to take. He doesn't. So he might play a bishop down. He doesn't. So just bishop up. So again, he might look to take here. I'm actually happy for him to do that. Now he comes in, okay. So again, I'm going to tempt him to take the knight, and if he doesn't this time, I'm going to advance. He doesn't. So I'll take his knight and I'll go forward. Oh, can I go forward? Yeah, I've got to go forward. He is a 2274 player, so he obviously rates higher than I do. Now, this is a big, big, big problem, of course. Right, knight in and try and get across. Wow, he's almost blundered badly there, but I think he might get away with it. I think he gets away with it. Wow, he's lucky. Queen check, king comes up. I think he's very, very lucky there. Wow. Right, I'm going for, he can't take. Maybe he doesn't need to take, of course. Queen over. Hmm, that could be interesting. No, it can't work, can it? It can't work. Ah, I've given him queen check. I don't know why he didn't just play queen check. Yeah, this is just playing bad now, isn't it? I've not played this brilliantly at all. got rook forward there no he just takes but he's got a lovely solid position now hasn't he so queen back yeah I'm just in pretty much in zugzwang now I think I don't think there's anything I can realistically do queen up maybe bishop up but he, he's got a really solid king I mean how can I get to it kind of impossible to see. Maybe rook across here is an okay move. He just grabs a pawn. Okay, let's go forward then. Right, so we hit this pawn now. I can't take, but I can take that one. Nothing I can do there, he's played well there. Oh, why didn't that resign? Hope it did. <coughs> well played. Play another Karakar. Let's play a bishop up this time. I normally play a knight up, but let's go a bishop this time. 
hardly ever play this though, so it's easy to forget the theory. Now it is actually known theory to take here, but it's actually, I don't think it's that bad for white. It is all known this. I think queen up hit the pawn, then knight up. Okay, just offer to trade queens. Doesn't really matter about castling too much. If rook check, I think I can block with a knight. Then pawn forward is a move, and you can castle, I think. So block, pawn forward, castle, takes the pawn, then... Hmm, maybe you just end up a pawn down. I think it's worth it though. I think it's worth chucking a pawn there. Actually no, I don't want rook that knight that way. Knight that way drops this pawn. Yeah, I've not played this brilliantly at all. Let's go pawn forward. Right, now I can go forward, hit this pawn and jump back this way, which I couldn't have done prior to that move. Right, he goes back so I can hit the rook again. I think I'll go forward. He has got knight check and it forces the knight off though, that's unfortunate. So he's going to get the 7th rank, it's whether I can do anything to Harry as king. Let's just grab the pawn while we can. Right, so he's going for the mate attack. So I think pawn up is forced. I think I can get out because his king's one square over. Maybe he can take. He might win a pawn out of this. If king across, I think I can check. So he might just grab the pawn. Okay, he does. So I think taking is essential. Now I can grab a pawn. I've got check, he comes down. I think I'm just going to push my pawn. Mm, I've got to go up, I think. Now, if I go that way, he gets my rook off the board. I just have to hope I'm not getting checkmated here. I could be. Could be. If he checks me, the king gets a square out. So now he's got mate ideas. Rook across, and he's just going to check. Hmm, this is nasty, isn't it? Let's look to trade a rook. Man, I think it loses though. Trading a rook, I think just plain loses because he's got a faster pawn. Hmm, not good. Down on the clock. He checks. That gives my king a definite escape square, so now I don't really want to trade rooks. I think he will, but I don't need to now. Is he going to just push his pawn? No, he does trade. But now it's just three pawns down, so what can I do? My only hope is to push. He 
yeah, I've lost that one. It's an arena, so I'll get on with the next game. Well played. Forty seven minutes left. Ah, we're up to nearly five hundred players now, four hundred and ninety five, that's good. I think I'll play Sicilian this time. Okay. Now let's play a knight up and across. Actually, I probably should play d6 first, shouldn't I? Ooh, very attacking move, very attacking. I think I'll still play over and just knight across. Makes sense to trade. Just fix that pawn initially. I think just keep it steady and maybe give the option to castle queen side. Hmm. If I castle king side, I can see me getting into a big, big pickle. I think I'll just look to simplify. Actually, I could take the pawn if he takes. Oh, he comes forward again. Okay, drop back. So forward, take, take, I can take. So now I can take or I can close. I've also got bishop back. Pawn forward, of course, he gets knight in, but I don't see... don't see anything better. I'll play forward as well. If he takes the bishop I'll take back. He comes up. So I'll hit the knight and I will take it if I get a chance. So he hits my knight. So gain a knight, lose a knight. Yeah, I think I can take. So I've got to drop back here, I think. There is an escape square if he hits the knight. And I think I can just about castle queen side now. But he's playing very well, though. He's playing well. I mean, this is a very dangerous move at some point. But now, pressure on the pawn long term. Not right now it's covered, but there he plays it immediately. It's a good move. I think I'll take... Hmm, if I go back and he takes, yeah, I think I've got to go back and try and get rid of that bishop. Oh, I think he's blundered. He's missed that his bishop was hanging and his rook's pinned. He's just plain blundered, but it's still not over. It's still far from over, this. Take while you can. Take... And then just pray that I'm not getting muted. If he grabs the pawn at and castle. Right, so the rooks protect each other. So now I should be winning a clean rook up. But he has got two pawns and maybe a third pawn. So you never know, you never know. The key now is to get that queen off the board. Actually, rook across looks strong. If the queen moves, I can take the pawn with check. And then hit the bishop as well. So he has to trade really there, which is what he's doing. So now I'm up to get the other rook off. If the rook comes off, then it's going to be game over. Yes, excellent, good win. He played well, though, he did well. Right, we have a ratty. A number of ways you can play this, all pretty standard. B4 is a standard move. Now it's F6 and E5 is a regular line here. Okay. If it gives me a chance to go forward, I could take. I'm trying to remember my theory. I think I'll just take there. 
So we hit this pawn. Okay, so he gives me the pawn. Now if I take queen check, knight blocks, knight down, I think it's okay to take. It is a gambit line though, it's often played in the rutty. Ooh. Ooh, 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 have I forgotten something? Possibly. So if I take the knight, he's got queen check, pawn up doesn't work. I think I have to take. I have to check king across, I think is forced. Okay, so take the knight. Ooh. Queen up is playable. He does have a queen check, but I can block with the knight, and his rook still hangs. But he's got check and then bishop up. And of course, if bishop up, oh, so he's got bishop check. I can still block. Now I've got bishop up to stop him castling queen side. Hmm. So king up. Bishop moves somewhere, he threatens rook across with a pin. That's dangerous, 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 dangerous. I think I'm going to play pawn up so I can play a king this way. i got to get off that file. Right, so... Got to protect them. Oh, I've walked into this. What have I done? Just blundered the whole game away. Wow. Terrible, dreadful blunder. <coughs> well, let's go back to a Sicilian. Okay, hit the knight. Wow, very bold. Getting a lot of very bold attacking player today. If he advances, I'll just drop back. Okay, I'm going to line up Castle and Queen side. I think I'll just play Pawn forward for now. Okay. Like Pawn forward and then Queen back. Right, so now it's easier to castle. It's risky. But his king's as much at risk as mine. Knight down is going to come at some point, so I'll drop the queen back anywhere. Pawn up and pawn up. Okay, let's take. So I think I can drop the knight back, so we're hitting a pawn. We're helping to guard this. So queen down, this pawn is protected, so more pressure on this pawn. So forward, take, 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 take. I think I'm okay to take. <coughs> okay, so he drops back, so I've got the option to grab a pawn. I think I'm going to have to take it. Okay, so I can... Take. Now knight up isn't really playable now. So I think pawn up and then knight up. Right, let's drop the bishop back in case his knight jumps in. It's going to be very tough to try and win this, so very tough. I need to try and get onto this open file, but again, hard to generate anything. Right, he goes back, so bishop over, guard this diagonal, maybe try and push forward. Now he might sack down here at some point, I'll probably be forced to take if he does. Hmm, could be very dangerous that, couldn't it? Maybe I need to move the rook to give the king an escape square.
So bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, king up to hit the rook, so he goes for it. So hit the rook, so he's got to defend it or do something. Right, with rook across I think I should be okay, but I might be badly mistaken. So can I play knight takes? Now his rook's being hit, it's adequately defended. If he takes the knight, can I just take the rook? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can just take the rook. The knight can only check there and I can just take it. Oh, he's got a check, but it's actually covered. Wow, he's found that brilliantly though, hasn't he? Well done. Well done. So he hasn't actually lost anything there. So he might sack a pawn here to open this up. He doesn't, not yet anywhere. So let's bring the king across. I can always play a rook up to defend the key pawns. So I'm going to try and bring the king over. Now I'll throw in a check. Get on the open file. Now I'm up on the clock. I put the pawn in a dark square, so they're all on dark squares, he's got a light squared bishop. What's happened there? My opponent's disconnected, reconnected. Another one. That's a few of these I've had tonight now. I hope that's a genuine internet issue. Now if I get a check in then this pawn's going to fall and that's game over, but I'm very well up on the clock of course. Right, now he's let me around the back, so maybe I can go across. Just hit this pawn. And now just rook down, trade the rooks off, and that's going to be game over. Okay, so he does get a check. Mm, no, there's, there can't be any checkmate threat there though. Excellent, we get there. Right, next match. Let's play an e4. Hardly ever play e4 at all. I know very little theory in e4. I play it in bullet just because it gives you open games, but I hardly ever play it in longer time games. Let's pin the knight and threaten d5. Okay, let's play that and trade the bishops. In fact, I can trade the knight as well. Ah, oh, no, 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 I can't pre-move that. He might take with the knight. And he does. That would have been a disaster. Okay. I think I'll take there. Just make it interesting. It's a queen up. Now, this pawn's going to get vulnerable at some point. Oh, well, let's look to trade the defending bishop. Goes back over. Might just pawn forward, stop the knight coming down. Okay. Pawn forward isn't playable yet. Rook across allows pawn forward. Knight's protected, at least for now. Okay, let's... Oh, can I do it? Yes, I can offer a trade of queens. In fact, I can take with a bishop. So now c4 is a natural move. He offers a trade of knights. Okay, I'll do that. But I'll go a4 instead of c4. And he goes back. I think pawn up and king up. Bring the king forward. Now, dilemma, do you go forward? Now I think it's best to take. Right, let's hit that rook. OK, 
here. So I don't think that knight's going to do a great deal there. In fact, he's just dropped his rook, and he's just missed it. He's just missed it. Hmm. So knight four to hit the pawn. If he takes, I'll just take. Right, pawn forward. Can I play pawn forward here? He's got knight out wide, rook up. He can take the knight and I take his knight. Right, he does take. But of course I'm happy to simplify as much as possible. He might have created a little bit of a barricade now. So I think I'll hmm. I'll push forward. I've got to try and simplify. Yeah, I've probably made a mistake doing this. Let's try and get the outside pawn. The trouble is bishop covers this key square, so it may not be a good idea. But it might get my rook active even if I drop the pawn. Right, so rook over, pawn down, rook up. Pawn down is not good. Right, so we've got to drop that pawn. I'm not playing this very well at all. Okay, rook down. I think rook up. I think maybe king up and push the pawn. Alright, hit the bishop to try and gain a tempo. And hope I can get behind his pawn. So he's got rook check. So I think rook behind his pawn, I'm safe to go forward. Oh no, I'm not safe to go forward. He's got bishop check. Wow. Pawn forward. Hmm. I've got to drop back because he's got bishop. Right, so now I'm hitting this pawn. He can come forward. Oh, I've really misplayed this, haven't I? Badly misplayed it. Oh, we just takes with a rook and it's game over. What have I done? What have I done? I cannot take that. How on earth have I bungled this? This is just plain lost, isn't it? Terrible. Couldn't have played any worse if I tried. Wow, this is dreadful technique. Dreadful technique. Yeah, just give him it. I can't be bothered. Well played. That is dreadful technique. A fairly straightforward game. Now, chess weaves. I can't afford any clangers in this game against a Grandmaster, which I am perfectly capable of doing, of course, as I've just demonstrated. Okay, let's trade knights. Comes in, I think I'll take there. Drop this one back. Now, is this going to blow my defence wide open? Possibly. Try and put the knight over and bring the queen over.
So let's try and push up this side. Rook across, okay. Right, I'm obviously going to lose at least a pawn here if we trade. Okay, goes back over. Have I got knight takes anyway? I'm not sure I have. I've got knight over. Hit the pawn. Threaten queen up. Okay, queen up is now not threatened. So I think bishop up and bishop up. If queen check, I think king up. Okay, so he hits the pawn, so that bishop up. Oh, he can take the pawn, can't he? He can just take the pawn, he pins my bishop. I do have knight back as a saviour. Yeah, if he takes a pawn, knight back, he has to move the queen somewhere, and if the bishop's not pinned, I hit his bishop anywhere. So he plays bishop forward. Right, I think I still have to take. Whoa, pawn over. I certainly can't take there. Maybe yeah, I was going to say I've got rook across these or see good enough to spot any potentials. Hmm. I think I'm in some difficulty now. Let's drop back and try and pin the rook. I doubt it works, but actually, have I maybe got queen forward? Try and get round the back. So he's got pawn down, queen up, pawn down again, or oh, yeah, pawn down again, queen up, he can queen. Right, let's go for it. Have I got rook across the board? King over. Right. So I'm threatening check. blundered it. I've blundered it in time trouble unfortunately. Ah, that was unlucky but I did well there I thought. I thought I played a decent game but well finished, well done. Oh, there's only 20 minutes left. Where's that time gone? Uh, let's try and do a bit more attacking. Actually, let's simplify. 
the knight discovery doesn't really do me any good. I can play a knight over and trade his knight off, but don't think it really does me too much. I'll take with a bishop if he takes there. Okay, so there's pawn forward, bishop takes. Hmm. I'll still play knight over, hit the queen, hit the knight and the bishop, as well as the queen. Okay, so I can double his pawns up if I go this way. This pawn is under threat. I'd rather take this way, I think. Right, let's go g4, let's attack. Okay, I think pawn forward. I might be just sacking this pawn at some point. I think bishop back. Right, check is covered. Queen covers the check. So now I've maybe got bishop up. Again, I'm probably sacking this pawn. I've got bishop up to pin the knight. Bishop takes, bishop up, bishop takes, bishop takes, anything takes. My gut feeling is I'd rather get rid of his knight than his bishop. My gut feeling is I'm better off getting rid of the knight than the bishop. So he takes, so I'll take. Oh, I've a given him bishop check, but can I take any takes? So I've given him an exchange. Oh, he had bishop check, didn't he? Yes. Hmm. Got to be a bit careful here. Maybe queen up, try and trade the queens or bishop up. So pawn up, he can grab this pawn. Sorry, bishop up, he can grab the pawn. I think it's worth sacking a pawn. Actually, no, the queen covers anyway, doesn't it? He cares, the queen covers it. Two, three, four. So I'm only a pawn down. Okay, so let's develop the rook. And go forward. Forward again. So queen down is a threat because he hits the pawn. Then maybe queen over is forced. Okay. So I'd like to play a pawn up, but he gets queen down. But then I've maybe got pawn up again. I'm going to play this one first because I don't mind if he takes there. Then I'll try and play forward here. I just take, okay. So how do I create something? I think I'll grab a pawn while I can. That was careless, I didn't mean to blunder that pawn. Right, so I'm probably just losing this game now, but yeah, two pawns down, it's gonna be tough. So I've got queen down. I've maybe got a cheeky rook up just to look for a cheeky pin. Like if he plays, say, rook down to pin my rook. Oh, I've dropped a queen. Wow. Just didn't see it. Wow. These things happen, not to worry. Not to worry. Alright, that's a free pawn. Okay, let's not go crazy, just go sensible. I think pawn forward is playable. And again. Okay, so stop his knight coming forward and then maybe just edge the other pawn. Okay, he can take that if he wishes. 
we could do with queen up so we can hit the bishop. Okay, he drops back to queen up so we can hit the light squared bishop. So hit the bishop. I don't know if it's actually sensible to take the bishop or not. He's got a backward pawn now. And that would open the file. Oh, hi Simon, how are you doing? Yeah, it's not going too bad. I've had one game with a Grandmaster Chess Weaves a few games ago, and I pushed him really, really well. I only lost on time by about five seconds, or something like that. He just outplayed me in the last few moves, but a decent effort, so a good tournament. Right, uh, do I want to take... I think I'm going to drop back and come across and try and pressure the pawn. Yeah, it was a pretty good game. I've had a few blunders, of course, as you'd expect. I've dropped a few clangers, but my rating is about the same as it was at the start. 2036 at the start, 2037. So I've had a break even tournament, so it's going all right. I've no idea where the time's gone, though. It's absolutely flown by. The time has flown by. Yeah, I'm not actually sure who Chess Weebs is. But, I mean, all Grandmasters are serious business, obviously for players at my level, I suppose. But I'm not actually sure who his act what his actual real name is. But, yeah, at my level, obviously, every GM is... Um... Oh, Dennis Boris, yeah. He plays Hikaru, doesn't he? Hikaru's mentioned him in his um, streams. Okay, I'll go forward, threaten just a check. Yeah, I'll have a play back of the game over the weekend to see where I went wrong, because it was a pretty good effort. I'll have a good knight over just threatening me up there. Oh, he's in the US. I think he's from Hungary, if I remember. Hikaru was talking about him the other day. He played him the other day. Well, he might have played him a little bit ago, just on his video on YouTube. He played um, a series against him, I think. I think he said he's from Hungary. I might be wrong. I think that's what he said. But at my level, of course, every GM is a tough opponent, but that's how it should be. Right, that's going to be checkmate soon. Yeah, Hungry, yeah, yeah. It was Ikaru that played, and then he played Ikaru recently. But I've got the 30 points again. That's always a good total for me. It's always a good total getting to 30 points. Pleased with that. Are you not playing in the event yourself, Simon? You're not found time to play a few games? Oh, last week, was it? Oh, it was Halloween, yeah. It was one of the games Hikaru played at Halloween because he played Nihal Sarin as well. I watched that one as well. And he played um, Danya and um, somebody else. I watched them all through just um, a couple of yesterday and this morning. Right, who am I playing? A 1900. I'll play a Karakhan again. Probably only a couple of games to go now. It was a very interesting game I played though. I thought I did quite well considering the rating gap between us. And I'll let the analyzer have a look at it first thing in the morning when I get up. Oh yeah, I watched all the... Um, the knockout matches as well. Okay, knight in. I'll play a knight up. He takes. Okay, we can trade the knight, I think. Just drop this back. Guard against the mate threat. Okay. Don't really want to play up there. Think rook across, pressure the pawn. He's got bishop down, then I might... Mm, actually, I can't play up, can I? Might have to play the other pawn up. 
I'm looking forward to next week. Next week is the Chess 960 week. I quite enjoy Chess 960. I think it should give us some interesting games. Now, how do I do this? I think I'm going to play Queen up and maybe across. So if I go across... I don't think I'm blundering anything. Right, he goes back. Hmm, actually, now I've got Bishop on the diagonal. He's got a problem. He's going to have to go across, I think. So I'll double his pawns up. Oh, he comes forward. Okay. I think I can take. So a knight forward. It's not an imminent threat. Don't like rook up. Yeah, I think just rook up and double the rooks up looks okay. Pressure on the pawn. Oh, he comes forward. Wow. Stay on the square to protect this just in case. So still pressure on the pawn, which I can take. So if he does a bishop check, he wins my rook. So it's not good right now. But I've got knight over. He can't take, but he can't drop back either. Not really a threat though. Hmm, h5 feels wrong. g4 can't be right. Let's just play a holding move while I try and work out what I do. Oops, 40 seconds down. This is one of the problems of streaming. I get down on the clock against absolutely everybody. One of the difficulties. But I've got knight over. Oops, what was that? Knight over. He can't take because the queen's pinned. He can't go back there. But he could just go back there. Oh no, it's okay, Simon. I'm quite happy. It's just... I. It doesn't matter whether I'm even just chatting to myself. I get down 30 seconds against absolutely everybody. I do it every week. Right, so he drops back, so king over. Right, now there's no bishop check. I am threatening to hit the pawn, so he drops back. So I think rook up now. Right, so he goes back. So is the sack on? You know, I've no idea if this is any good or not. I'm just going to play it anywhere. If it loses, it loses. So you block with a queen. Now where do I go? I think I'll risk it and grab the pawn. So you probably play a takes so and I can get both rooks of the queen. He goes back. Okay. I think I've got to play forward here. This is obviously a threat, but not right now. Well, there's a check now. Goes back. I think rook across looks okay. Right, take. So now I'm hitting the bishop. Right, get off so there's no check there. So maybe rook up. Um, let's just trade.
Oh, stalemate. Wow. Gave him a stalemate after all that. Got a winning position and then drew it. Not to worry. Right, seven minutes to go, so there's time for one more game. Right, another Fide Master. Okay, this is not a standard Rutty opening. Ooh, have I blundered this already? So takes, takes. Actually, let's just regroup there. I might have blundered this already. I think I'm okay to take if he takes. I won't pre-move though. Okay, he does. Actually, let's go with the knight. Okay, pawn up. So hit the bishop, close the file. Right now I can castle. Right now I can put the knight back. And knight up and knight up. Okay, I'll take that. Now I can drop a pawn. Mm. Now look across. Queen up allows bishop down potentially. Okay, so he's looking to get pawn forward. Hmm. Queen up, pawn forward, not easy. Let's just play bishop up. Okay. So I can take, I can move. Queen over isn't a move. I think I've got to take. I'll trade that and I'll play h5. <coughs> yeah, thanks very much, Simon. Have a good weekend. Okay, forward again. <laughs> That's a... Uh, I'm off to bed as soon as this is done, Simon. It's like 11 o'clock at night here. So I'm off straight to bed as soon as this is finished. <coughs> right, so he comes forward. I've got knight down to hit the rook, but I don't like the look of it. It restricts the queen. Hmm. I don't think there's anything better. Hit the rook, see where he goes. We've got a threat of taking a pawn, depending on what he does now. Okay, so I think I can just take. Ooh, can't take the pawn, I'll lose my rook. Hmm, let's look to trade queens. Right, I've got to quicken up because I'm down on the clock again. He's probably got enough pawns here, hasn't he? Yes, I think he's got enough here. Okay, so if I hit the bishop, he just advances. Rook up's no good. So I've got to play across and then maybe back. But if he had 
He can't advance this move, but I don't think I've got time to turk here. So I've got to go forward. Can I take the bishop now? Take, take, take. I've just got to make a move. Take, take, he goes down. Clearly that loses. Hmm, that was a terrible blunder. Terrible. Yeah, that just loses, doesn't it? Just loses. given that one, well played. Right, there's only one and a half minutes left, there's no point playing another game there I don't think, so we'll just see how the event finishes. But I've got 30 points again, my rating is broken even, 20.36 at the start, 20.34 at the end. So it says I'm in 83rd place, so I'll just have a scan down and see what my rough score is. I'm 85th now. No, 12 out of 24, so I've got a 50% score, so very good. Obviously, I've had a loss against the GM, so against everybody else, I've at least broken even. So very, very, very good. Just under 30 seconds left. Oops, went for mouse. Renato won again. Ali Reza got second. I didn't even notice Ali Reza playing. Wow. No, he played 24 games and he must have been a late starter. So very well done to everybody. Chess Weaves is the GM that I lost against. Uh, Dennis Boros. I thought it was a decent effort. So thank you to anybody who's seen this. I'll be uploading it in the morning to Facebook and YouTube. But otherwise I'll be back um, next week hopefully. Thank you.